There was a recipe. We studied the people who were successful. They did certain things. Had a therapist. They had to be in group, a group psychotherapy with okay. the therapist. They had to go to a 12-step meeting. And what became further defined for us is that um, it was just as you said. Um, they, uh, you know, I go to meetings and it didn't work. I'd hear that. Well, I'd have, have you got a sponsor? Well, no. Did you ever give a meeting? No. Did you ever do service? What have you? It's really about getting involved in the process. Yeah, did you ever do the steps? Right. 12 yeah, steps is yeah, about 12 yeah, steps. Yeah. You got you to gotta do that. You can't just attend. Right. But we found when I started doing, after we did that, and I started taking this recipe and doing it and with hospital people, f or patients, and following them, right. the people who did that, they didn't, they didn't slip. Uh, we found like 23, 24 percent get the steps one through nine in 18 months, and, and, and virtually nobody slipped if they did if they did the work. That's what put me onto the fact how important it was. What I didn't know then, Joe, because science wasn't far enough along. Now we know why it works, because in order to change the circuitry of the brain, you have to feel safe. Safety is the very first thing because the brain will not change. And so, like for example, um, Amnesty International could not get torture victims to get into therapy until they put them in a room with other torture victims. That you have to be with people who really know and can nod their heads, I know exactly what that feels like. Yeah, I talk about that a lot with uh, referencing that, which I learned from you is that it's the mutual suffering that other people went through, prisoners, to where they don't have rapport with other people that haven't kind of been there in it's the trenches. It's very important for that floor level of safety. And then the other part, one of the biggest things that will change your brain more than anything else, a story. Hmm. which is what the 12 steps are about because the story is the most cognitively complex. In other words, it's the hardest thing a brain does is to assemble a story. So addicts have to assemble their story.